is Eight, pensive prosciutto. Seven, six, five, four, These are two three, circular shaped two, robots, circle shaped one, robots. Fight. Losers robots bracket fight. round four. One of them will be going home early. Pensive prosciutto trying to get that ring spinner up to speed. I think this is uh, one of the few times I've seen that ring spinner running today. It's really only did, been one other fight that they've had some movement out of it. Yeah. And it looks like it takes it a minute to get up to speed. Now, Merkel is not afraid of taking it straight to a uh, to a horizontal spinner. Oh, no. Oh, that no. doesn't bother them at all. Looks like the, the inside of the ring spinner is turning a little bit more than the outside. Yeah, that's not the way you want it to work. There we go. Interesting. 45 seconds down in this fight. Looks like the ring spinner might be dead. I think it might be. Now let's see if Merple can uh, effectively uh, lift here. Now I'm only assuming, I haven't asked the builder of Pensive Prosciutto, but I'm assuming that this is a five pound robot given its unconventional locomotion. So I can see why Merple may have trouble lifting it. Yeah. But really, I mean, we haven't seen much damage from Pensive Prosciutto in this match. No, this is going to come down to control and driving. And right now, neither of them can really get control of the other bot because, well, they're both circular. They both kind of roll off of each other as they make contact. And you can see Bryce trying to execute that lift. And um, just really, I think it may come down to a weight thing. Oh, and Merple has stuck itself under uh, under Bert. Oh, interesting. Yeah, oh. Prosciutto, a time to a little bit of time to spin up. Pensive Prosciutto needs time to spin up, and uh, Merple accidentally gave it that. Uh, a, a mistake that Merple uh, was quick to correct. Yeah, Bryce and Cask is here with Merple. This is anti-horizontal attachment. Sixty seconds left here in this match. Interesting. Yeah, they're really having a hard time just making contact with each other and doing anything. One of the challenges with Merple is that it really likes to have hard uh, angles. Yeah. You know, like it likes to have wheels to, to get into. It likes to have wheel guards to spear. And um, you just don't have that on Pensive Prosciutto. It looks like two hockey pucks going at it in the box. <laughs> and uh, that, is, that is tough. Wow. Do you like okay. the sound of those? Uh, yeah, that's a good pin. Yeah. Here we go. 15 seconds left in this match. That Ooh. ring spinner just really hasn't spun up the way that you want to see it. Yeah, no, not Eight, as yet. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. Turn off your weapon and drive to the door. This one will go to the judges. Obviously, since he's already used his one pass, we should start with Jack Tweedy. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> fair. I think that's fair. Uh, Jack, that's, you're a trooper. It's just cruel. <laughs> it's just cruel, he says. <laughs> what did you think about this, go... uh, this very odd kind of circle-shaped match? Uh, I'm going to go with Merple on this. They were definitely the aggressor in the driving, and as much as I love Dan Hammer, he just couldn't get the weapon going. Yep. All right. Let's, uh, let's go with you next, Don. We've got one vote for Merple. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Merple again just because he tried. Right. Okay. He tried. <laughs> tried. Here we go. All right, Diana, your thoughts. <laughs> Is trying enough for Diana? I guess we'll see. Merple versus Pensive Prosciutto. Uh, sorry. Um, I am also going to go with Merple. He was showing a little more aggression, and even though his weapon couldn't lift, he was at least... It was not a tap out. I disagree with that. Um, 